Hello friends. In this tutorial, we will learn about strings in PHP. Basically, a string is known as a series of characters or collection of characters wrapped within single or double quotes. We will learn different ways to deal with string variables. In some scenarios, these variables don't work as we want and sometimes they work properly. So we will see the difference with the help of examples. Let's get started. So as you can see on the screen, here we have two string variables, str1 and str2. And both of these strings are wrapped within double quotes. But we can also use single quotes. So before I make any changes, let me show you the output. So this is the output. Now if I enclose this string within single quotes like this and let's save it and see the output, you can see there's no change in the output. Okay. Now if I make changes in this string, let's enclose this within single quotes and let's save it and check the output you can see the output is gone. So what happened? So if you look at this string, you can see the string itself contains a single quote. This single quote. Okay. Now this single quote has become end of the string while rest of the part of this string, it is producing error. You can see the color. Now we have a simple solution to this problem. Add a backslash before this single quote. And now you can see the color has changed. Let's save it and refresh the browser and you can see it is displaying the output. So if you ever get into this kind of situation, now you know what to do. Here this backslash, it represents escape sequence character. Okay. Now let's move to our examples. So here I have already added four echo statements representing four different scenarios. In the first example, I'm simply displaying the value of string variable str1, it is self understood. Okay. In second echo statement, I'm displaying the value of str2 along with message. And the message is nothing but a simple br tag. It will display the statement in a new line. Okay. Let's move to our third example. Here, I'm displaying the value of variable str1 and some message enclosed within single quotes. You can see these single quotes. Here you must have observed that I'm not enclosing the variable within single quotes. Let's see what happens if I do that. Let's save it and refresh. You can see instead of displaying the value, it is displaying name of variable because it is treating the variable as a message. So if you want to display the value of a variable with single quotes, then make sure you are using concatenation operator. Okay. Let's go to our last example. And you must have seen similar syntax in JavaScript string literals. But here we are using double quotes instead of backticks. Okay. Let's save it. And again, I'm refreshing it. So this is our output. Now, in addition to this, I also want to show you a few more things. For example, if I want to get the length of the string, then we can use an inbuilt function. And name of that function is strlen, string length. Okay. So this function takes one argument and the argument is name of variable. So if I want to know the length of str1, I will simply use this function, this inbuilt function, and I will pass this variable as an argument. Let's save it and refresh. Here you can see it is displaying the size of this string. Next is if you want to display or extract a particular character from the string, then you can do something like what we exactly do with array elements. Okay. For example, here, as you can see in variable str2, I want to extract this character g. Okay. Here, I know its index is 2. 0, 1, 2. Okay. If you remember, array index starts from 0. Okay. So, let's extract and display this character. Echo 
and then we are tag and here I will type in the name of variable and then within square brackets I will enter the index okay let's save it and refresh now you can see it extracted G and with the help of that echo statement we displayed that character so this is it thanks for watching this tutorial if you found it informative please consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this